Well, the hearings have come and gone, and the inspector general has released his report, but the scandal surrounding Fast and Furious is far from over, and a, con a contempt hearing or case against Attorney General Eric Holder is still very much in the works. Uh, William Lajeunesse has an update on where things stand today. So let's start with uh, Eric Holder. William, what, what about the lawsuit against him? Well, you know, remember, Jenna, this is the first time and only time President Obama used executive privilege and the first time the House held an attorney general in contempt, claiming in this case that Eric Holder and the Justice Department withheld documents related to its role in the operation that put some 2,000 guns in the hands of criminals. Now, the House Oversight Committee filed a civil lawsuit asking a federal judge to force the administration to hand over documents it believes show a cover-up after the president claimed executive privilege. This came as more and more Fast and Furious weapons showed up at crime scenes in Mexico that the Justice Department failed to report, despite promises to inform Congress. People continue to die. Even the administration has admitted that, sadly, people will continue to die by these 2,000 weapons. Now, in this fight over executive privilege, we expect a ruling in the next three weeks. Many believe this could actually go over the next Congress, potentially, even after President Obama is out of office. In the, in the meantime, Brian Terry, the murdered agent, his family is still pursuing their lawsuit. What's the status on that? Well, Jetta, uh, the Brian Terry, uh, his family, filed a $25 million wrongful death lawsuit after their son was murdered in 2010 with fast and furious weapons that were found at the crime scene. The family sued senior ATF officials and the gun store owner, Lone Wolf, for negligence claiming that both knew or should have known that those weapons would kill. Well, the agents claimed immunity while the gun store owner sided with the Terrys, saying Andre Howard was also misled by the government, which falsely told him that it was tracking the guns. Mr. Howard was asked to be essentially an agent of the ATF and the DOJ with respect to these very suspicious, highly questionable now proven to be illegal sales of weapons that happened over a period of time. Jenna, that case is also in federal court. We expect a ruling soon if it will go to trial. Back to you. We'll continue to watch it, William. Thank you.